I feel your pain <laughs> because my patients, I deal with very, very sick people and they die and there's nothing I can do about it. Just like there's nothing you can do about these relapses. Now, people don't get better in a single treatment episode. So relapses or whatever happens is part of the process of recovery for many people. The world does not understand that. They think it's a car wash or something where you're magically cured or I don't know what the hell they think. But I, I don't know why people can't get with the idea this is a chronic illness, it's a deadly illness. And like if, if we if we just gave it a different name, let's call it cancer, <laughs> people magically wouldn't they now Suddenly the pro they accept it. Yeah. The prognosis for cancer, the vast majority of cancers, significantly better than severe addiction. Significantly better. Yet cancer cancer treatment professionals are heroes. And you're an a-hole for letting your patient die or killing your patient or r causing your patient to relapse or wasting their time or all these horrible, horrible things that, that dig in our hearts as treatment people. I can see it in your eyes because we're, we're laying out our soul for these patients. It's a, it's a deeply personal experience when you help somebody through, through addiction and recovery. And, and people, and by the way, the people that are just handing out drugs aren't doing that. They're not in, the, in with the patient doing the hard work. They're just giving a medication. But those of us that are in doing the hard work, bidding for full recovery, flourishing recovery, that's a very personal thing. And it hurts when people turn around and, you know, call into question what you're trying to do. I get that. Yeah.